When you think about a depiction of isolation in cinema, your mind will often drift towards films such as Taxi Driver or Lost in Translation. You may not, however, think of a big budget Hollywood science fiction film. Steven Spielberg's 1977 Close Encounters of the Third Kind is considered by many to be one of the greatest science fiction films ever created. And its technical feat is undeniable. The set pieces are phenomenal, the practical effects ambitious, and the special effects hold up with a 70s charm. But set in genre and critical and financial acclaim aside, I think Close Encounters is a strong contender for one of the greatest films about isolation. Despite being about aliens coming to Earth, Close Encounters is actually one of Spielberg's most human and personal creations. In hindsight, the aliens take up less than a quarter of the 135 minute duration. The film opens with what looks like the lights of an unidentified flying object, but is actually revealed to be the headlights of a truck in the Mexican desert. This optical illusion immediately establishes that the film is going to be far less concerned with the paraphernalia often attributed to science fiction films and blockbusters and instead be more focused on earth and human subjects. Researchers have been called from the Sonoran Desert where a squadron of aircraft from World War II have been discovered. Strangely, these crafts disappeared and were reported missing during the war. Even stranger, the aircraft are in perfect condition and show nowhere. But strangest of all, there is not a single trace of the pilots that would have been flying the planes. A witness to the event claims that the sun sang to him and appears to have been sunburnt. While this is happening, two commercial airline pilots report to the Indianapolis Air Control about a foreign unidentified flying object that is in their flight path. Shaken by the flying object almost crashing into one of the planes, they both decide not to file a report on the incident. EWA 517, do you want to report a UFO? Over. Negative. We don't want to report. Later that night in Indiana, three-year-old Bobby is woken when his toys begin to malfunction. Wandering off into the night, presumably following the extraterrestrials, his concerned mother Julian awakens and worriedly chases her son. Enter our protagonist Roy Learson who quibbles with his family in a banterous way. Roy wants to take the family to go watch Pinocchio at the theatre like he did when he was a kid, but the children want to go play goofy golf. You can either play goofy golf, which means a lot of waiting and shoving and pushing and probably getting a zero, or you can see Pinocchio, which is a lot of furry animals and magic, and you'll have a wonderful time. Okay, now let's vote. <coughs> Although this is a bit played for laughs, this also foreshadows a divide in the family dynamic. Roy is an independent thinker from the rest of his family, and this split will only grow wider as the film progresses. Roy is a maintenance worker who is called upon when the city's electricity goes out. When on his way to the scene, Roy stops to look for directions, unknowingly crossing paths with a UFO. The electrics in his truck go haywire, and when he glares out of his window at a dazzling light, half of his face is burnt. Racing to follow the UFO, Roy almost runs over Bobby. Here, he meets Julian, and they, along with other bystanders, watch as a plethora of UFOs fly by nonchalantly like passing traffic on a motorway. This is the birth of Roy's obsession and the beginning of his descent into isolation. This event causes Roy to obsess with a mountain-like shape. He starts to see it everywhere, even in the most mundane places. At first he sees it in his shaving foam while shaving, but later on in one of the most memorable scenes in the film, he begins to sculpt the shape using mashed potato during dinner. His wife Ronnie either doesn't, can't or won't believe his account of events, consequently causing their relationship to crumble. Roy's entire life has fallen apart by the seams in the name of something in his head that he can barely identify, articulate and understand. I think I know what's happening to me. Having lost his job and embarrassed by Roy's antics, his family eventually leave him. Whilst this happens, Bobby is abducted by the aliens that visit him earlier in the film. Consequently, she too becomes obsessed with this mountain-like shape. Her walls quickly fill with sketches of the abstraction. Just as all hope seems lost, it is suddenly revealed in a new segment on TV that the shape that both Roy and Julian have been seeing is Devil's Tower in Wyoming. They both trek to the location where they are obtained and questioned in an attempted government cover-up. Here it is discovered that various other people from all over the country have also been having the same obsession with the shape. Roy and Julian eventually manage to get to Devil's Tower. They discover it is being used as a meeting spot for the aliens to make communication with Earth. After the iconic communication sequence for the use of lights and music, scored by John Williams, a mothership releases dozens of people that have been abducted throughout history. Their costumes suggest that they've been taken from all periods in history and includes the pilots from the jets found earlier and even Bobby. It appears that these seemingly abstract premonitions that have plagued Roy have actually been call-ins that have amounted to something. Roy and a collection of other people are all suited up and taken on board the mothership where it is suggested that they will learn about alien life and vice versa. So that is the plot of Close Encounters and this is where personal interpretations come into play. Firstly, at the start of the film, Roy has the ideal 
stereotypical blue collar lifestyle that is preached and glorified in America. A notable scene that takes place later in the film is where Roy tears apart the garden of his suburban home. He throws the dirt into his house by the barrel load to create a large sculpture. This destruction of the iconography attributed to the middle class America can be seen as Roy quite literally tearing apart the American dream from the root. You want a good price? The plants are fine there! Roy, can you hear me? Hey! What are you, what are you doing? You're gonna love it, Ronnie! What do you mean? You really love this! Roy, what are you doing? Secondly, many read Close Encounters as a religious story told through science. And the religious subtext is undeniable. A reference to the Ten Commandments film, the worship is in India, and the metaphors alluding to biblical stories. But I also think there's more to be read between the lines. The story of a troubled artist. In order to read the film this way, you only need to look at the context of the release of this film. Just two years prior, Spielberg had released Jaws, and although it would go on to break all types of records and become recognised as a pioneer of the Hollywood blockbuster, it had a notoriously devastating production. Shooting was 100 days over schedule, the budget increased by the day, and Spielberg was fired on a daily basis. He was sure his filmmaking career would be over. When you make a film, at least when I make a film, I have to be passionate about the subject matter. I have to know that that's all I want to do for the next couple of years. I just think it's very important to... You know, to, to spend the time and, uh, you know, consider each film kind of uh, the beginning, middle and end of your life. This reading would also make sense of how various characters' obsessions with the mountain-like shape manifest itself through art forms. Are you an artist or a painter? Notably, sculpture, sketches and paintings. It even explains the film's reliance on music and the message that it can be used as a universal language to bring peace. So the next time you feel that you don't belong, you failed, your head is full of ideas that people don't understand, or you feel yourself distancing from family and friends, look to the sky and maybe you'll find an answer.